Welcome to the Saucony Kimbara 12 review. So, I'm going to have a quick look. I've just got these new Saucony Saucony. Saucony, Saucony, however you want to say it. I think it's Saucony, Kimbara 12. So I've just got these. I'm just going to do, it's going to be a really quick uh, overview. So all the things that I would like to hear about. If I was going to look at buying these trainers, I'm not going to go right into the deep tech specs. You can check it out on their website or I'm sure other people have done real in-depth reviews and go through the whole lot. So I'm going to go through a few things, how they look, how they feel, sort of build quality materials and more importantly what they're like when you put them on your feet and you go for a run. So let's get stuck in. So firstly looks, I'm a big fan, big fan of the colours. I like bright shoes or bright colours but I like them offset against the black base colour. I think it's not too um, not too jazzy for most people obviously if you're not into that type of if you're not into this type of look then you're just not going to pick this shoe anyway I, I think there's a few color choices but they're all pretty jazzy yeah so I'll be obviously the jazziest man in the neighborhood when I start running around in these which obviously makes you look faster and like you know what you're doing it's cool so feel feel and quality of them they feel really nice uh, there's not really any stitching you've got like an engineered mesh on the toe box like most modern trainers now so it's pretty good for breathability obviously not much good if it's wet but then we don't really care if we get wet feet when we're running because we're runners um, uh, some change of sort of material on the, the hill there I like this upgrade I've got the Kinvar 11s I like this new tongue a little bit more sort of performance nice and thin and around the heel area it's not quite so much padding but still still enough there but not so bulky and spongy um, uh, sort of standard standard lace system nothing crazy going on there and the sole is the pw pwr run little video there about that it, yeah, if you want to go on their website, tell me more, but yeah, so cool. So let's talk about how they feel when you put them on. When I first put these on, they definitely feel a uh, really nice fit around the ankle. Uh, they lace up nicely. Feels like there's plenty of room in the toe box, which I like, especially for the, uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing the longer runs and stuff, it stops you hopefully getting so many of those black toenails and a bit of movement in there is quite nice. Uh, yeah, they feel light, they feel responsive, definitely feel firmer than the, uh, the 11s, like I've already said, but I've got the Saucony A8s as well, like the racing flats. Nowhere near as minimalistic as those ones. So they, they really sort of pitch them right in the middle of those two, really good. Uh, just quickly, a couple of things. The weight, so I weighed these in, I think it was 237 grams, which was a bit more than it says on their website but that's just with my baking scales so they were 20 grams lighter than the Kinvara 11 and about 50 grams heavier than the A8s I've got and I think it put them in about 20 grams heavier than my Vaporflies so they're a pretty light shoe and these have got a 4 mil 4 mil drop so nice so I've used these uh, shoes on only a couple of runs so it's hard to give a long impression of what they're like but I use them on a 10 mile 75 minute easy run absolutely no problem with comfort or ill fitting or any problems with you know shins calves knees anything that you might get sometimes or anywhere a new pair of trainers I uh, warm on a short interval session as well uh, some 30 second 3k effort so fairly quick trot they felt really good, good fit, especially around the ankle, nice and tight, uh, tight on the foot, 
and good underfoot as well, responsive. Definitely could wear these uh, in a race off the bike, duathlon, triathlon. Quite happily wear these half marathon type distance would be quite good. I'd probably go for something either more minimalist like the Saucony A8 for the a 5k or 10k but yeah these would be good. I could wear them, I could wear them down the track, you know, wouldn't feel out of place with those. Um, hard intervals, tempo runs and easy running. They're definitely a firmer ride than your standard normal uh, sort of shoe trainer I, I guess. But I quite like that. It's not for everyone, but if you're looking for a trainer that can train that feels fast, responsive, looks good, and goes well, yeah, I think you, you can't go too wrong with these. They're nice. 120 quid ish. Yeah, nice. Go for it. I like them. Uh, once I've racked up a few more miles in them, so I'll get to 500k or whatever somewhere around there we'll get a decent way in and then we'll come back see how they're holding up so overall like them really good they feel nice they look good obviously they're not cheap but you know a lot of shoes now uh, a similar price so uh, yeah if you're interested or have been looking at getting any Kimbara 12s I'd say go for it if you've had the 11s I think it's a good upgrade especially if you're looking at something that's a bit uh, on the nippier side or a bit more, more responsive so go for it and if you like the video comment if you've got a pair or what your favorite shoes are what you're running or if you want any other shoes looked at i can just buy some more shoes then and say it's because youtube told me i, I needed to right <laughs> thanks for watching catch you next time